Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back. I appreciate you coming back. If you are new, like, follow, subscribe, all those things. Follow me across all social media. I am at I am CC Suarez across all social media. Today's video is a doozy for you. If you don't know what's been going on in the wild world of Monate, and the way we're going to break up this video is what is WFABB and then what really sparked all this, why this is absolutely insane. So we're going to go over the expose that she did on her Instagram stories yesterday. It was crazy. And then we're going to watch the Zoom call that I actually was fortunate enough to get access to, um, which really explains the future of WFAB. The way we're going to end this video is a little bit different. This is kind of a deep dive if you think about it. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a deep dive on the company iGenius, which is a trading crypto MLM. Within any multi-level marketing company, there are what's called an upline and a downline. So if if I recruit you, you're in my downline. Whoever you recruit below that is also in my downline, so on and so forth. So a lot of times what'll happen to really disguise the fact that they are in a certain MLM or in network marketing in general, they'll create these teams or really brand their team so that it kind of looks like they've created their own online organization and coaching, mentoring. And, and one of the largest ones is WFABB, also known as WFAB also known as work from anywhere boss builder. Do you smell that? It smells like a scam. Yeah, it's extra sketchy. It's extra suspicious. Speaking of smells though, let's take a second and hear a word from the sponsor of this video. Now you guys know I love smelling like someone's expensive wife because that's what I am. I am someone's expensive wife. You know him. His name's Tony. Off screen Tony, if you will. Now I love smelling expensive, but I don't want to spend all that money on expensive perfumes. So what's the best solution? The sponsor of today's video, which is Scentbird. If you don't know, you most likely already do, but Scentbird is a subscription fragrance service that gives you the opportunity to shop over six hundred. That's a lot. Over six hundred brands. That's so many. And that is a flexible subscription and it is monthly, but no worries if you are like me and you have like 40 of these, 40 of these little twist capsule guys in your cabinet back there, you can just skip a month. They come in these little containers, little twist guys, twist just like a lipstick, foolproof to use. And then you can just take out the little vial right here and it says exactly what the name is. I'll go over what they smell like and which ones I got in a second, but that's how you use it. And I personally love that it's not like a tester one. It's not like a travel size. It's look how big, look how big this is. It look, okay, this is my face. That's big. And it says that it's a 30 day supply, but like girl, it's more than that. Okay. If you have no idea what you're doing when it comes to fragrances, to different scents, what you should wear for each occasion, what does it mean when it says that something smells more musky or has notes of lavender and lilac? If you're completely lost, don't worry. They actually have a quiz on the site that is very easy to use and then that way they will point you in the right direction so you can smell beautiful and perfect and valuable, spicy if you want. You'll be able to get what you need. And with the holidays coming up, it is such a good present. My sister doesn't watch my videos, so it's fine that I'm saying this. This is actually what I'm giving to her this year. I'm gonna be gifting her a yearly subscription. So you can actually do three months, six months, or 12 months. There's perfumes, there's colognes, there's unisex options. Like I said, it is the perfect gift for this holiday season. And the great thing is that once you choose either the three month, six month, or 12 month, subscription plan, oh, go ahead and send it right over to the re recipient's email so that way they take it over from there. And if you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to sign someone up for like a subscription service, don't worry because Scentbird actually has gift sets available for whoever. So the ones they sent me this month were Power Suit by Deck of Scarlet. I've already smelled this one. It smells very powerful. Like I'm about to dismantle empires. And aren't I, aren't I going to do that? And then Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. I feel like this is, I feel like this is like a staple. Like this is one that people like know a lot about. Know a lot about? It's a perfume, Chelsea. And then Pure Vanilla by I Love Vanilla. This will be interesting because I typically don't like vanilla scents. So it has vanilla, helio, heliotrope. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. And then mm, Tonka Bean. 
So it's not just vanilla. All right, so here's the, the La Vanilla one. Oh my God, that's really good. Oh my God, it smells like my Nana. Oh, that's so weird. One of the last ones I got smelled like my mom and that one smells like my Nana. Okay, I love that one. <laughs> I, like, I, need, I feel like I need to write it on the bottom. Smells like Nana. <laughs> Such a weirdo. Okay. And then Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I feel like I should say this. Dolce & Gabbana light blue. Like it doesn't in the commercials of people like swimming, you know? Ooh, that one has like a little hint of like citrus kind of. Oh my God, I'm so smart. Ooh, we should make this like a game every time. So this one has notes of lemon, apple, cedar, bamboo, and bluebell. I know this is something probably people like don't show too much, but like I love that it comes with these cards and like tells me exactly what's in there. So I sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when I say I'm a perfume connoisseur, like I said, I just mean that I am a hoarder. This one smells really, really good. It, that one definitely is lighter than the other one. Oh my God, that's why it's called light blue. Okay, now power suit. I already smelled and it smells real good, <laughs> like real good. And it has notes of, ooh, creamy sandalwood opposed to normal sandalwood. Skin musk. That's that's a gross word. <laughs> skin skin musk, orange flower, which Tony's going to love this one and jasmine, he loves both those smells. And cardamom, I don't know what that means, but I already know like this one's going to be a little a little bit more on the spicy side. That is so good. Oh my god. This is what I would wear with a with black jeans, heels, a like loose silky top and an oversized blazer and a power pony. And I am forcing multi-level marketing companies to shut down. That's, this is what I'm going to wear. <laughs> I love this one. Mm, okay. So whether it's gifting a subscription or treating yourself, with Scentbird, you can get a decent amount of luxury fragrances for just $14 a month. Also, with my code CCSuarez3, which I'll have linked down below, and in that pinned comment, I'll have the link and the code, you can actually get your first month for just $11. Yep, that is saving you 30%, my friend. Mm -hmm. Not only am I helping you smell amazing, but I'm saving you monies while doing so. Thank you again, Scentbird, for sponsoring this video. And now let's go ahead and get into our debauchery. All right. So like I said, I wanted to go over first and foremost, the expose of craziness. So this first slide says I've been getting so many DMs about this. So out of respect for everyone to know the truth. That's weird. Just a little disclaimer, the the way she formulates sentences is not the best, but I'm going to try my best to make sense of it, especially because I'm dyslexic. Y'all know it's a struggle for me to like read aloud sometimes if things aren't like perfect. So here is what Kelly XK underscore has to say. I've been getting so many DMs about this. So out of respect for everyone to know the truth, I'm going to address it on my story one time. I don't fuck with WFAB anymore because of the way Jasmine, the other girl I started WFAB with, and how some of the other leaders want to move with a little, a little clown waving guy. First, I got voted off. W U W W. I don't know what this is. They really need to stop. They need to stop with all these acronyms. By eight leaders in the leadership chat, since all of the other 30 leaders got kicked out of that chat last minute with a two day notice that if they didn't re rank to MMB, they getting kicked out. Yikes. So it's pretty like low ranking in that, that team, it sounds like. Okay, cool. You want to give my. W U W W. What is, is this like a wrestling organization? Day away to someone else, no problem. Jasmine, whatever you say. Then three days later, all of a sudden, I find myself kicked out of all of the WFAB chats, the leadership chat, the main WFAB chat, and our Zoom link chat, which I'm in that one. When I confronted Jasmine as to why she would kick me out of everything, this is what happened. So this is from November 8th. And this is what Kelly sent to her. I told you I was 100% with this business when we had our phone call. And I told you that I'm willing to work on getting better at my leadership. But then right after telling you that, you kicked me out of WUWW day. This is exhausting, <laughs> which demotivated me so much and confused me. 
that you didn't think you could take away from me the business that I built just because in recent times I haven't been showing up as much. I opened up to Daniela personally as one of my close friends on how I am feeling after you did that to me. I know now that you are using my private conversations I had with her as a friend against me. When also I never once told Daniela that I'm not doing this business anymore. Like I said before, I would have loved to share my whatever day with Sabrina. She's amazing. It's the way that you handle the situation that threw me off and really opened my eyes. Just because I don't always want to run things or move the way that you want doesn't mean I have an ego. I am a lot different than you. So I was just standing my ground, staying true to myself. Like we always say, you don't have to, like we always say, you don't have to be like this or that person. You can find your own way to do this business by being you. But for you to kick me out of the leaders chat and the main chat, with all my people, last time I checked, I have one, holy shit, 1,100 market partners in my organization that I am building with this is insane to me. I don't know why you would ever feel like it's okay to do that. You want me to kick, you want to kick me off of whatever. Okay, no problem. Sabrina has been putting in work. The majority voted and I wished her all the best. But kicking me out of the chats, why would you do that? And then she sent voice notes, which I didn't record. I could probably just go back right now and record them. So I guess I should actually probably do that right now. I really hope that this person didn't block me because I did reach out to her and I was like, girl, you are killing it. Like you are acting absolutely exposing everything and I am living for it. Oh good, she didn't block me. Hell yeah. Okay, good. And in regards to you getting taken out of the group chats, it's the reason for that is because you are so hot and cold. You are hot and cold, Kelly, okay? You're telling me you're all in and then you go and you are telling Daniela, "Oh, I don't know if I want to do this anymore." First of all, you do know that's your downline, right? So again, leadership thrown out the window, okay? Um, and then, you know, you're telling her you don't know and this and this and that. And then people are showing me that you're doing crypto now or whatever. I don't even know what you're doing. And so it's very on and off. Like, I don't know where your head's at. And instead of talking to me and communicating with me and being honest with how you feel, you go and you tell your downline instead, right? So you know what happens like it when people are hot and cold they get and that's exactly what happened and and this is again so that you can be aware i'm having a business conversation with you this has nothing to do with our friendship okay <laughs> nothing and i see you posting subliminals about this and that and that like i know you're in your feelings trust me i know it, it's not easy to take this on, but I, but you, you fail to be, be aware of yourself and the things that you have done. Like you, you, can you honestly tell me that you have been putting in massive work just like how Sabrina was doing? It has nothing to do with you being here at the beginning. You are not taking responsibility. What you're doing is you are acting on your rights. Like I have a right to be here because I did it with, at the beginning with Jasmine. You don't get recognized for what you did two years ago, babe. You get recognized what you do today and every single day. And that's just how this business works. Okay, now Kelly is saying we never kick people out of the WFAB chat that aren't, uh, that aren't active in the business anymore. But if you want to kick someone out who created it with you, like what? And I completely agree. And then she said, Jasmine, are you hearing yourself? You're saying that you kicked me out um, of the chats because you think I'm hot and cold based off my private conversations with Daniela. Since Daniela told you about our conversations, why would you not talk to me about it and clear things up first instead of just automatically kicking me out of the WFAB chats? And then if you scroll up, I did say I was going to message you this week until you cooled down. And after our two hour long conversation, I was trying to get you to open up and it didn't work. I left the ball in your court and told you uh, that when you're ready to open up to me, message me, whatever, um, instead of doing what you did. And I'm having this up on the screen, guys. So I'm just paraphrasing, but you can, you, you can read it all. Please let me know where your head's at with doing the business and if you're still doing it and I'll add you back into the main chat. And she said, I was trying to understand why you would even delete me from the chats. I'm still pretty confused about that because as I previously told you, I'm in this business. 
But the thing is, at least in my opinion, and it's real fucked up, I think, that she would kick her out of that. But I'm thinking that she was kicking her out of that because she knows that Kelly, like, does not fuck with the, the like, crypto um, or, like, the trading educational MLMs, basically, or that she wasn't going to be okay with this move, that she, like, wants to stay in Moni, which is fine. It's just, it's so, so weird. Now on to what the villain says. As a friend, I want you to know that I still care about you and I want you to win more than anything, but coaching you all year has been really tough and seems like you've gotten no, you've got nowhere with you. What? You've stopped growing, adapting, and all the changes. Uh, meanwhile, I see other girls putting in 10 times more work and people see it. I can't just favor people just because we're close friends anymore. That will ruin the culture and community that we've built. My intentions have always been to help people, even if it doesn't make them happy at the moment. Uh, there is no reason for you to be confused. You told Daniela you don't know if you want to do the business. That's the reason why you got taken out of the chats. So I know y'all might be thinking like, Chelsea, what, what is, why are you telling me this? I don't care about this stupid back and forth. But this really does lay the groundwork and really show you how shitty of a person this Jasmine Elizabeth person is. It really exposes it and it really just shows that this person who built this with her and was supposed to be very good friends with her, she just completely cut out of what they built together. And that's really fucked up. We'll get more into her later. And since she has hopped around from multiple MLMs and there's a lot of dirt about her, I'm thinking she's going to get her own deep dive just like Boss Lee did. It's pretty crazy. So if you have any information about this person, yes, she's a public figure. Yes, I can do a deep dive on her. Then please reach out to me. I would love to do a deep dive on her. Then Kelly says to Jasmine, I heard from Daniel G and Daniela A. What is this? The Bachelor? That you had already signed up to iGenius under Rakan, which I am assuming is like this top person. They had a Zoom call with him for the team. And it was weird, but I'll be, I'm trying to get access to that one too, but it's just weird. And a bunch of other top leaders did too. It's crazy to me that you're just now telling me this once you and other leaders already signed up, especially since you've been thinking about it since you dropped seven ranks. So I don't know if y'all remember, but earlier this year, I don't know if this girl was with them, but Jasmine, Dramus, and like one or two other girls in WFAB were traveling all over. They went from, keep in mind, borders were closed, but they went from Toronto to Miami to Mexico. I think they went to Texas too. And then they went back to, and they went to two places in Mexico. Uh, and then their last stop after going back to Canada was Miami again. And they also got COVID during that trip and weren't taking it seriously. And they didn't even quarantine for two weeks. It was fucking crazy. But on that trip, both of them ranked up and the Jasmine girl ranked up to um, ED, uh, ex erectile dysfunction, um, executive director. And since then, I guess she's dropped seven ranks. That is crazy. It just shows you how some of these ranks might be attainable, but they are not sustainable. It is so common in Monate or in any MLM, but especially in Monate for you to hit a rank and then lose it. Absolutely crazy. And the fact that you have been talking about it for a while between Dre and both, both Daniela's. Oh my God. Too many Daniela's. But yet you never told one, the one person who has the second biggest organization in WFAB and the person who has always told you to get into Bitcoin and crypto, who's supposed to be your best friend, which I'm assuming is Kelly. And it's funny how in that voice memo, previously Jasmine said she was like, well, someone said that you were getting into crypto or doing whatever. And it's like, baby, that's just investing. You can still do your sales job and your MLM job and invest in crypto or... <laughs> NFTs, I don't think you should invest in NFTs, but if you want to, sure. If you think that's the future, go for it. I personally have, I'm, I am stick with stocks and normal things like that. And then also I do have a bit of, um, a bit of crypto in my, uh, my wallet as well, which is nice, but th these people don't know what they're talking about. And it's going to be so not only interesting, but absolutely hilarious to see these W fab girls go from talking about her luxury lifestyle and these products to trading and crypto. Like we're we're about to get a whole nother round of Forex girls. It's crazy. Now, after all of that, after being kicked out of the, the WWE, apparently, 
and kicked out of all of the WFAB chats, she messaged me yesterday that she's going to switch the whole team out of Monate and move them into iGenius. Insane. iGenius used to be called Cuvera. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, which used to be called Wealth Generators. Due to scamming people out of their hard-earned money, they had to change their name legally three times. That happens with MLMs quite frequently. They're a Forex trading MLM company that doesn't know shit about crypto. They make money recruiting people and to sign you up with the fees of over $300. Sounds like IM Academy, doesn't it? If y'all want to know more about the ins and outs of IM Academy, I have like one or two videos on it, I believe, but go ahead and go over to Marco's channel. Always Marco. He has amazing like three-part documentary style videos about I Am Academy. And fun fact, they are so threatened by him and the information that he's putting out there and how much he's exposing them. They're currently suing him right now. So, yep. <laughs> Shit's crazy. So definitely go support him and go uh, take a look at that. It's all the Forex and crypto and trading MLMs are exactly the same. It's such a waste of money. You can find all that information for free on the internet. This is the first network marketing company that Jasmine started with five years ago. The same company that scammed her and robbed her whole team. The same company that she would always talk shit about throughout the whole time she was working with Monate. This is all very fascinating. Okay, and then, and then Jasmine just keeps going and is saying, please don't take it as a personal attack. Um, this is me being really real with you. Let's be real. We haven't been acting like best friends. It's been on on and off relationship the entire year. You're the one who I can feel you not being honest with me. So basically just gaslighting her and trying to blame shift. The final decision was really recently and we were not speaking. Uh, we were not on speaking terms. Before that, it was just a thought in my head. I told the girls very briefly and for us to go all out in the next 60 to 90 days and see if anything changes. I didn't feel the need to let you. I didn't feel the need to let you know because even during the Dominican, we were really distant. This isn't something you tell just anyone. <laughs> what a loser. And the only reason why they briefly knew that I was thinking about it is because all three of them felt like something was up with me and I couldn't hide it much longer. Also, you guys had an issue with Rakan, and that gave me even more of a reason not to tell you. And then Kelly put on the screen, of course, the man scammed me into iGenius fake crypto. Anyway, I'm not here to argue. I have a lot on my plate, and I just wanted to tell you the plans and where we were headed. You can't... Ooh, shit. Kelly said, uh, no problem, babe. There's just some things about loyalty that I believe you can't teach. So don't take this personally, but I know firsthand how you move and how you move with your people and your morals and your lo loyalty just don't match mine. Hence why I've been distant. You can claim to have best friends, but you are only... Uh, but they're only your best friend for as long as they can produce in your business and are under your influence. Oh, that sounds like Jesse Lee Ward. Shit. I've seen it firsthand multiple times. To have a conversation with someone as to how they can be a loyal person is not a conversation I'll have with anyone. It's either you got it or you don't. That's true. I think I like Kelly. <laughs> I think I like her. I think I like her a lot. We got to get her out of Monate. <laughs> She's way too good to be in there. There's a, there's a, there's a bad bit. Kelly, if there's a uh, very small chance, kind of like the success rate in Monate, um, if there's a very small chance that you are watching, you're too good to be a part of any MLM, babe. Way too good. You do have a giant downline though, so I don't ever see you getting out of it. Unfortunate how things played out, but I'm not going to repaint someone after true colors have been shown. Oh shit, that's a good one. I just can't afford to have that energy around me. Anyways, I'm not here to argue with you either because clearly we don't see eye to eye. If if you want to take WFAB back into the first network marketing company that robbed you five years ago and scammed your whole team, good luck with that. I hope one day you'll wake up and realize who was really here for you. And the only thing she said was no problem, babe. Gross. In conclusion, Monate X WFAB is not a thing anymore. They are moving WFAB into iGenius. All of these girls are now going to become crypto experts with a scam company. There is no loyalty or trust or respect. There is nothing. No. Where there is no loyalty or trust or respect there is nothing that's true i'm out good luck to everyone and please be careful who you give your money to 
Oh, yikes. Now she's trying to get back with her ex, Kane, who she helped rob her own whole her own whole team, only to then also get robbed by her ex. Her ex was, from what I've heard from people who have been very close to this Jasmine girl, this is what has been alleged to me. I'm not saying that this is the truth, um, but allegedly her ex was very wealthy and she would do like the whole luxury catfishing thing and she would always attribute like all of her success to Monate, but really it was just because of him and because the money he had. This shit is wild. Yeah. The, okay. So it, she she kind of keeps going more about um how Jasmine's ex-boyfriend, I guess, like scammed Jasmine. I But I don't really care about that. So. so now we are going to go over the WFAB 2.0. Buckle up. Hi, guys. I am so excited for you to be hearing the information that we have to offer today because I know that it has the potential to change your situation. My name is Dre. I'm one of the leaders here with WFAB. And if you guys don't know what WFAB is, it stands for Work From Anywhere Boss Builders, okay? We are a community of women and men that empower each other to build another source of income online. Doing something that we're already doing. We're already on our phones all the time. And if you've been following WFAB, if you've been following WFAB for the past two years, you have seen the amount of success that we've created. And you've seen that we're always one step ahead. We're always thinking of what's next for our team, what's next for our people, how can we impact and inspire more and more people. As you guys know, our goal is to impact the lives of 100,000 individuals. And I'm super excited to be sharing this information with you guys today because we have partnered up with an amazing vehicle. Um, we are going into the future, that we're going into the, mar into the online money-making markets, okay? Because we know that's where the future is headed. And um, this is where we can build wealth, we can build residual income and you know everybody's been talking about crypto like literally everyone it, even if you're on this call and you literally have no clue what like you've seen crypto but you don't even know how it works or what it is or but you know you're missing out like literally that was me i was looking like i don't know how it works i don't have the time to figure it out but i know i'm missing out on something okay and that's exactly how i'm going to share this information with you today to help you guys out okay so what we're doing is, is and, and if this this information makes sense to you guys then we can make some money together okay i know that we've been told that money doesn't grow on trees and it doesn't it grows in the markets and this this these things that we're, we're sharing with you guys say these services that we're sharing we've partnered up with a company called igenius okay and what that company is is it's basically four co-founders from wall street that came together to teach people what to do with money, to show people how money works, okay? So iGenius is a platform that delivers education, financial technology, research, and tools for you to use, you know, on a subscription-based model. They basically show you what to do with money, okay? Now, I'm not special. I'm not some crazy smart person, but what I do know is I know I'm curious enough to ask the right people questions. I, 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 I notice what rich people do. I notice what wealthy people do and I imitate. Success leaves clues. Now with this, with this company, with iGenius, our product is simply just money. As you guys know, with the average person and your money is just sitting in the bank account. And the, the bank, the bank is a business. The bank is not your friend. And I want to show you guys something. Okay. I want to show you guys something. I'm going to share my screen before I tell you guys more about our services. I just want to show you guys, um, something on my screen. Give me one second. One, how uncomfortable does she sound, right? Like just not confident in what you're saying. And I, listen, I, I don't blame her. This has got to be a, a scary thing for, for them to do. Also, why is she the one who has to introduce the team to this? Why can't Jasmine do it? It's insane. And then imagine you are a newbie on WFAB. You just joined Monate like two months ago with WFAB or on their team or whatever. And you're sitting here watching this and you're like, wait, so I'm, I'm joining another company too? Or like y'all are, you know, you, you say you've partnered with another company. So now I'm going to get these tools for free. Like, is this a a extra benefit I'm getting. And I've watched like, I want to say like six minutes of this already just to see like exactly how awful it was. And it's pretty awful, but it's just so, so strange. So the thing is, is that she's saying, oh, I was so like lost and sure I get it. Crypto and stocks and things like that can be confusing. However, she just said, well, I don't have time to learn about it. That's what you're doing right now. That's what you're doing. What you still 
still have to make time to to learn about it, to watch videos, to read about it, even when you're joining this MLM. Like, it's so ridiculous that they think it, it's just, it's fucking crazy, honestly. And I, I just can't stand it. As someone who has learned everything that I know about investing a little bit from my dad, but mostly from the internet, like for free, you don't have to pay for any of this. If you are in Monate, if you are in WFAB and you're watching this video, you probably haven't made it this far and I really wish you would, but do not join iGenius. Do not make the move with this team. This team is going to crumble and it's not a good company. It is not a good company. I never thought I'd say this, but stay in Monate. If those are your two choices, stay in Monate and then I can work on getting you out of Monate because this is such a fucking scam. It's horrible. So you guys can see my screen now, okay? I am on TD Bank, okay? TD Bank this is a very, very well-known bank. And this shows the daily interest, or not the daily interest, the interest rate on a regular account with TD Bank. You can see it's 0.01%, meaning your money is sitting there and you are collecting not even 1%. Doesn't matter if you have over $60,000. Even in, even in the high interest savings account, you're getting 0.05%, half of, not even half a percent, okay? You're getting 5% of a percent. Even if you have over a million dollars sitting in your bank account, this is what you're making on the high interest savings account. Same thing over here, 0.1%, over a million dollars, okay? And if you guys know right now, Okay, so here's the thing. She just corrected herself and she was like, oh, well, here are the daily interest rates or in interest whatever for, for a TD bank. I can just tell that she doesn't know what the hell she's talking about because if she did, she would have just broken this down like I just did because I was like, wait, I wonder what that actually is. So if you have a bank account with TD bank or whatever bank, let's just use this example since she is, and you have at least $1,000 in your account, right? Your interest rate, what you will gain in interest by keeping your money in there per day is 0.010%. Now there's 365 days in a year. So multiply that by 365, then that would be a little over 3%. It would be at 3.65%, obviously. So that means that every year by just keeping your money in there, you're getting about $36 and... 50 cent added to that a year. One of my goals in life is to have so much money in the bank that I can just live off of the interest. I know quite a few people that do that. That's awesome. So if you have over a million dollars every day in your bank account with this bank, you'll be getting 0.050% interest. Over 365 days, that's 18.25% increase. Do you know how much money that is? Do you know how much money that is? I sure do. That's $182,500. That's more than most people make in Monet. That's more than most people make, period. Like I said, that's one of my like, one of my like life goals <laughs> is to have so much money in the bank that I just live off the interest and I just don't touch that. Fucking goals. She doesn't know what she's talking about. And she's about to sell you on crypto services or trading services or basically educational services when she doesn't know what she's talking about. Very interesting. Also, she's using all of the same buzz phrases and buzzwords about the bank isn't your friend. Aren't you using a bank? Where else are you going to keep your money, lady? No, I would rather have my money in a bank where I'm making interest. Do you know why? Do you know why interest rates vary per bank? Do you know why there's even this such thing as interest rates for banks? Because they essentially are paying you to keep your money there, especially when you get to a huge amount, like over a million. They are paying you to keep your money in that bank, in their establishment. That's the jam. They're doing that right. All right, who's ready to learn about inflation from Dramus? You know, the, the, the USA... Inflation rate right now in 2021, it's been the highest it's been in like, I think it was like 13 years or something like that. Let's see if this loads. 6.2%. That means that you are losing 6% uh, on your purchase power every single year. More than 6.1%. 6 You're losing every single year on the money that you have saved in your account. 
So when you're leaving it in the bank account, you're actually losing money because inflation goes up all the time. And if your money is not growing faster than inflation, then your money is losing value. You guys see it all the time. The dollar um, and iGenius. I'm going to go over four main products, but we have over 15 different products and we teach you about three different markets. Okay. The first market is, is the Forex market. That's the foreign exchange market. Super simple. It's just when you exchange currencies. When you go to Mexico, you're going to change your dollars for some pesos, right? And every single time you exchange, whoever you're exchanging it with is making some money out of that exchange, right? So that's what the Forex market is. The second one is the cryptocurrency market. You guys have heard. I swear to God, Forex. You can learn all of this for free. You want to know a great and hilarious resource? Trillionaire Mindset. That podcast is awesome. I've actually learned quite quite a bit from it um, regarding, regarding trading like options because I was always confused about that and I didn't really understand it. And then I listened to, I think it was either their first or second episode. I listened to that one and one of the guys explained it like they explained it in such a funny way but it was so easy to understand and I was like okay well yeah I don't want to fuck with that then like I I was like I definitely don't want to do it and it's not because I'm confused on it now I get it to the point where I know I don't want to mess with it I'm just gonna stick with my stocks the ones that I the ones that I got diamond hands with and then the ones that I have you know that I will see that it's down and then once it spikes back up I'll, I'll trade it but also I don't fuck with day trading either I don't it's just I I would rather I would rather play it safe and I know when something's gonna do well I guess I like to I've said this before I like to like follow trends and for instance I saw what was down the other day oh um uh, Disney was down the other day and I have I already have a few shares of Disney I think I have like four I think so I bought I bought like 20 more <laughs> This is not financial advice, by the way. I just like to follow like certain market trends and see what's happening in the news. And I don't know. Also, this is financial advice. Never invest more than you are okay with losing. It's also really funny that she <laughs> she's already using we. Girl, is it we already? Is it we already? Is it? She's like, we teach you this, we teach you that. Girl, you just got all the, the math wrong within like <laughs> when talking about interest rates and having your money in a, a a savings account with a high interest rate. So it's like, what are you what are you talking about? Like no one should trust you. Think about this. You're paying to join. So there's a sign up fee to join. And then you're paying monthly to have access to all this stuff. And then you're also investing your own money into whatever market and whatever trading you're doing. That's so much money. I don't know about y'all, but it ain't a good investment. Heard of Bitcoin, you guys. I, I'm sure every single person watching this have heard, has heard of Bitcoin and knows that you're missing out on something. Crypto is a deregulated currency. Okay. It started with Bitcoin, but there's thousands and thousands of them. And it started because people were fed up with the government. So what she just said is wrong because she said, whoever you exchange it with is making money. Yeah, because they're being paid by the company that they work for. They're not making money off of your exchange rate because you you get that back. You're exchanging the money. They're paid by whatever company they work for. So for instance, let's say I'm going to Mexico and I and th these are completely made up figures, okay? But just to give you an idea of the math and to keep it simple. So let's say I have 100 US dollars and the current exchange rate is 100 US dollars and I'm gonna get back 1,000 pesos. So let's just say that. And then when my trip's over, I go back and I give back whatever money I have left. So let's say it's, 200 pesos. I'm confusing myself. <laughs> so let's say I go back and I'm like, all right, I'm done. Time to change back my monies. So then I go and I give the person, let's say 100 pesos. And somehow I get back $50 American. Obviously, that's not an accurate exchange rate. But you understand. I essentially I spent a lot of money when I was there and a lot. But then I came back and I essentially made money because the exchange rate changed. Sorry if that doesn't make sense to you. That's the best way I can explain it. So essentially I made money from it, right? Now, the way she just explained it didn't make sense. So this is so funny that she's getting so many things wrong. And again, this is what we teach you. Is it? Because I'm pretty sure it's not. Because you don't know what you're talking about. Also though, her eyebrows look good. I noticed she did them differently in this video and her eyebrows look good. So you at least have that going for you, Dreamus. Maybe you should stick in the you know, beauty world instead of talking about things that you have no idea what the hell you're talking about. So 
as time go, goes along, like I just showed you, our money is worth less and less and less. So Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is the world's chance at regulating wealth. Okay, it's not regulated by any government, anybody can acquire it, and anybody can acquire it. Okay, so it, it's really, really something that's big and popping right now. Look, I'm going to share my screen actually one more time to show you guys something. Um, over here, look, Odell Beckham literally just um, asked to receive 100% of his 2021 to 2022 salary in Bitcoin. 100% of his salary in cryptocurrency. At the end of the day, you got to you got to see something like this and think, okay, I got to do what wealthy people are doing. Okay? Success leaves clues as I already said. So, we have the um crypto market, uh we have the forex market, and we also have the stock market. Stock market is just when you're buying small pieces of a company. When you're buying shares or stocks, you're buying small pieces of a company. Okay, and we operate in these three online markets. Okay, and we have, like I said, over 15 different products, but four main ones. Okay, the this bitch is about to start talking about stocks. I can't wait to just completely, completely destroy her. So, one thing about crypto is that, is that it is. So, one thing about Bitcoin and crypto in general, but just let's stick with Bitcoin, the coins, if you will. It's funny that she's saying like, it's not regulated by any government. I mean, to an extent, sure, I guess. But what she just said is so like, so broad. And back in the day when it first started, you didn't have to pay like capital gains tax or anything like that on it. But I'm pretty sure now you do have to. If I'm wrong, correct me down below, but I'm pretty sure you do. And you know what? We could just fucking Google it. You have to pay capital gains on cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is considered property for federal income tax purposes, meaning the IRS treats, treats it as a capital asset. This means the crypto taxes you pay are the same as the taxes if you might own, um, you might owe real life, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so yeah, you're, so she doesn't know what the, the fuck she's talking about. First one is education, meaning if you're someone who wants to learn about these three different markets, about Forex or crypto or stocks, we have education software for you. We have pre-recorded videos. We have a whole education training, a whole academy that's going to teach you um, everything that you need to know. It goes in from beginner to intermediate to advanced. So no matter what level you're at, you can start learning about these markets if that's what you want. The second uh, uh, type of product that we have is we have live trading, meaning you can literally go on a live call, like on a Zoom, and watch a, a, a professional trader, an expert trade, and you can imitate the trades that they're doing, ask questions, engage with them, and they, they do trades, and they also um, will teach you different strategies. So you can literally engage with them. We also have a separate one where you can have one-on-one -on -one calls with certain ones. Okay, now that's the second one. So we have live trading where you can imitate what they're doing and learn. Third uh, type of product that we have is trade alerts. Okay, this is where you're literally getting an alert on your phone that's telling you, hey, place this trade, place this bet. Again, in any one of these three markets that you choose, Forex, crypto stocks, this is the trade that you should place right now. And last quarter, we had over 553 um, trade alerts and 83% of them were profitable profitable. You guys know trading is up and down. You can lose money. That's like with anything that you do, any sort of investment, you know, but 83% of our trades were profitable. Okay. Which is freaking crazy in the last um, quarter. Now, again, past performance does not guarantee future results. But so, you know, what's really annoying is that Investopedia, I've learned a lot of stuff on there. And like I said, the trillionaire mindset there, I, I love them. They're hilarious. They talk about stuff to where like, it's just easier for me to understand because they're just funny as hell. And then also, like I said, Investopedia, I can just look up anything and it will fucking teach me about it. And that's free. That podcast I just talked about is free. And then also, uh, if you want to learn more about like Bitcoin and stuff with Coinbase, one of the biggest apps that people use for trading uh, crypto and for like having your like crypto wallet and shit. Sorry if my verbiage is like off. I'm not, I'm not super into crypto. However, I have it. I have it. It's just a little. Just a little, little bit. With that, in Coinbase, there's a lot of educational tools as well. And sure, yes, Coinbase takes, you know, it's, it's cut when you 
when you take stuff out or whatever, when you trade. And then the Fidelity investment app, most investment apps do that as well. I use the Fidelity investment app. I just think it's super easy. Um, it has a lot of really good educational videos and tools as well. And essentially that's free. You're not paying a a monthly, you know, reoccurring thing or a a monthly reoccurring fee or an initial like setup fee. And it's a fraction of what these things are. It's so, it's just so crazy to me that people think that this is a good idea. Like how, I know it's, it's easier said than done and like, but how do people fall for this? How? But that tells you something, 83% um, out of 553 trades, okay? So you can get trade alerts straight to your phone. You can, you can be on the go, take a few minutes, pop in the trade alert and, and place your trade. Uh, and without even knowing too much about any of these like I said, I'm not an expert. The fourth one, guys, and this is my favorite one, okay? This is my favorite one. This is the one that got me obsessed uh, with this company. And this is something, uh, it's an automated intelligence, okay? Um, you guys know AI is taking over the world right now. So many different places are using AI. It's actually estimated that over 10% of companies are using some sort of artificial intelligence in their com in their in their company in their processes, right? So what this is is we're partnered up with a company called Endotech, and we have some uh, something um, something called um, Endotech, and it's called Crypto Elite. So it's powered by Endotech, and this is something I'm gonna actually share my screen to show this show this to you guys again because I it, it, I like when you can see it, you know what I mean? Um, and like I said, this is one of my favorite parts. So if you go on the Endotech website, okay, um, just go to Endotech or Endotech.io. Uh, you can just screenshot that, okay? Their website is super, super transparent. And what this is, is an artificial intelligence trading your money for you. Meaning you purchase any cryptocurrencies, you put it in your account. So you purchase Bitcoin or whatever other ones you want. You put it in your account and then you attach our software, our robot, together with that account and you allow it to trade for you okay it doesn't have any authority to to take any of your money but it does a trade did she just try to say their website is very transparent but then she said transparent again how does anyone fall for this why was she the one <laughs> why oh my god i cannot wait wfab is going to crumble and i am going to be laughing over the rubble it's going to be great for you and then spit you out the profits it's that simple this is my favorite product because guys i'll be honest with you i don't want to be a crypto expert i don't have the time to sit and learn everything and i'm not really too interested in it but what i do know is that bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are taking over the world and i don't want to miss out on it you know i want to be able to get a piece of that pie while i can i still do everything else that i'm doing with my life right so that's why i love this service right here and uh, let me show you guys pricing okay to actually get this service for the average person you would need to pay you can see it right here a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars okay for a one year uh, license. Again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but doesn't an institutional license mean like a for an institution, not per person? The like the misinformation I and I know I said I'm so excited for it to crash and burn. A lot of people are going to be affected. Hopefully not a lot of people go over to that MLM with them. I'm really hoping they don't because I don't want these people to lose money. I don't want them to be taken advantage of. And I just don't want them to be straight up scammed because they're going to lose so much more money in this. And it's crazy because they don't make money off of your investments. So they don't care. If you are actively losing money, they make money off of you recruiting more people. And if you think about it, if you are investing poorly because they told you to, or you're losing so much money because the monthly fee is so damn expensive, what's the fastest way to earn your money back? Sure as hell isn't investing. No, it's going to be recruiting more people. So they are going to be pushing and pushing and pushing you to recruit more and more and more people. 
absolutely insane. You can see how powerful this is, guys. You can see why we have partnered up with this company and helped. We want to help change the lives. We were making all this money and we're like, what do we do with this money? Right? Where do we go from here? How do we make our money duplicate? How do we make our money work for us? Okay. And those are the four main ways that the way that they are making it seem is that they are still going to be in Monet. They haven't said that they're leaving Monet. They've just said that they are partnering with another company. No, 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 baby. You are joining or they've, she's already joined. They've all already, not all, but like the top leaders, as Kelly showed us, have already joined iGenius. So Instead of I'm, we're partnering, we just want to help people. You just want to make more money or recoup your losses from Monet and essentially scam people. I am so shocked that Jasmine is joining this MLM, even though she's been burned by it in the past. Like it's so, so weird. Maybe that was her plan all along. You can make money um, with us. Okay. Now, with that being said, Okay, I know you guys know that cryptocurrency is the future and you know you whether you want to learn about it and you want to do our education platforms and you want to get on our live calls or whether you just want to put your money in and let the robot do its work, you can do either one. You don't have to be an expert. That's why we actually utilize experts. I always say in in this business in you don't have to be smart, but you have to be resourceful. OK, you have to use the right resources. You have to leverage um, the right resources. And you don't got to be smart. You're telling us, girl, you are being a perfect example of that. This is big yikes, big yikes. Also, if you would like a big yikes shirt, if you would like any merch, that's linked down below. We got lots of merch for y'all. And it's like using these experts to trade for us. OK, and. Uh, like I said, it is a subscription. It is a subscription membership. I'm going to share again with you guys um, and show you guys what the des descriptions are. Okay. Um, we have a bunch of different ones. Okay. The, the, uh, the most popular one is the elite package, right? Here. Oh my God. Okay. So there's four packages. There's choice, which is a one-time fee of, okay. So not a one-time fee. It's a startup cost or a initial payment, let's just say a, a initial startup fee of $100, $99.99. .99. And then you are paying a monthly. So it's not, why call it a one-time fee? You're paying monthly $100 a month to stay active. Wow. Holy shit. And then for for that, you get, I guess, the access to like the main thing. Jesus Christ. You get university, which I guess is where you learn stuff. Learn live, where I guess where you learn stuff. Money pro, where you learn about money. Market pro. Forex thrive. Okay. Commodities alert. And then select is the next one. And that's $300 sign up fee. We're just going to call them sign up fees instead. Holy shit. Monthly renewal fee of $174.99. This does not include any money that you are investing. This is just the money that you're paying to the company, to the MLM. Fucking crazy. So you get everything the same as the last one, except for you get crypto and um, a uh, s s sequelizer channel. Why is the Z capital? What are y'all doing? Okay, and then premium, $599.99 is your startup sign up fee, whatever. And then $174.99 and you get all the same stuff except for you get equity prime, trend pro, blah, blah, just random shit that you don't need. You don't need any of this. And then SK Live Share. Again, you don't need any of that either. You don't need any of this at all. And then the elite package, $1,490. Oh my God, $1,500. Who can afford that? But do you want to know how you can make your monthly subscription free? Okay. All that you do is try the services. If you like them, you share it with four people. Okay. Share it with four people. And it will be free. Your monthly fee is going to be waived, meaning you don't have to pay your 175 or 99 monthly. Okay, if you share it with four people, it just has to be four, not four every month, just four in total. As long as four people are using the services that you signed up using your link, 
then guess what? Your monthly fee is waived. Okay. If, if it's anything more. So you aren't even going to be breaking even unless you recruit four people and maintain, not recruit four extra people every month, but if you maintain those four people, so you're still only breaking even and not, and not even because that sign up, the sign up fee is still a lot of money. So you're still in the negative. Even after you've signed up, I shouldn't be laughing. That's horrible. But even after you've signed up for people, you know how hard it is to maintain that? And then think about it. You're going to want, you're going to tell them the same thing. You're going to be like, all right, you have to, you know, you have to get four people to sign up as soon as you can so that you won't have to do that. Then they are then breaking even. So the people at the bottom are still always losing money because they're only br breaking even monthly, which really, like I said, they're not because they're putting money in to invest and then they're still out whatever they paid for the sign up um, fee. Now, let's say you have four people under you, directly under you, and those four people have each recruited four people. Okay, then you're making money. That's a lot of people. That's really hard to maintain. So again, it's all about recruiting people, like every MLM, but specifically with this, that is such bullshit. More than four, then we'll start to pay you. And that's something called affiliate marketing or network marketing. You guys know Amazon, how now Amazon's really smart and they created this thing where you can like make your own link and people can go buy on your link and then you can make a small percentage. It's the exact same thing. It's the network marketing. First of all, bitch, that's not the same thing. Affiliate marketing and network marketing is completely different. And she's like, oh, Amazon's so smart now. They've made it so that you can have an affiliate link. No, you dumb used plunger. They've had that for years. I've been doing that for years. I have our style and or, um, like to know it, our style, reward style. And I've made... Now, because I've been sharing a lot more stuff, think I need, really need to like get on it and share more stuff now that my platform's growing a lot more. But I make like a hundred to two hundred dollars a month from that, and then with my Fanola code, and then with my Fanola code or my goalie code or like any other things that I have like that, I make like I don't know, like two hundred dollars every like month or two on it. I don't really push them a lot. I should do it more, but that's not <laughs> that is not affiliate marketing. That's network marketing. That is you recruiting someone to spend money and then you are making money off of them doing it then exactly what you do. I'm sorry, I get so frustrated because it's like, how dare you take what I do and try to say that that's what you're doing. That's not what you're doing. It's such a scam. It's bullshit model. It's the affiliate marketing model. Um, it's a marketing strategy. Okay. So if you want to get into that space, which is what we've been doing for the past two years is network marketing, you can share, you can also earn an income from that. If you get more than four people, we'll start paying you on top of it. So you can really do two things with us. You can trade using any one of our services or you can trade and build. You can trade and build a network marketing business. You can start building a team and sharing these uh, financial resources with them. Um, and the beautiful thing about it, guys, is you get to have access to our WFAB trainings. Even if you're just trading and you're not building, you can still have access to our trainings, which is a new change that we're implementing. And I'm super, super excited about that. And, you know, super excited about everything that we're doing. I hope you guys are going to be following us along in our journey. Why would I want or why would anyone want you to train them when you have gotten so many things wrong during this initial pitch? This is so unprofessional. First of all, put your put your camera up. Stack your computer on some books, girl, please. Stack your computer on something. I don't, why are you looking down at me? Look up, get it together. I don't care if you don't have a computer or a stand or something, stack your shit so that you are eye level with someone. This is strange and I hate it. They do this all the time. And she's like leaning over and like rocking. She's like that one bird that keeps tipping into the water. That's what she is right now. I hate it. So she's gotten so much wrong during this call, yet we should totally join her and lose a lot of money. Can't wait. 
journey. Um, and if you like the information that you heard today, reach out to the person who sent you this video and get the link to get started today. Okay, get the link to get started and start making money today. Because like I said, this information has the potential to change your situation. Okay, um, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you learned uh, a lot about um, our company and what we're doing. And we're so excited with where we're going and where WFAB is headed in the future. And we hope that you'll join the WFAB family. Okay, so that was horrible. Also, did you hear what she said at the end? She said, get started with us and start making money today. You, that's not how it works, Dramus. You're not going to start making money today. That's not how that works. Even if you join at the lowest one, it's still like $200. And you're not gonna you you're not gonna make money. You're gonna be in the negative because you just spent two hundred dollars, and then you're putting more money into it to in, invest or trade whatever. And most likely, you're not going to make that money back. Like, so what happens to the girls who are in Monate that are still in WFAB or were on that team and don't want to change over? We already learned a good bit about what iGenius is, and the Kelly girl told us a little bit. So I will have this article linked down below, but this one says iGenius Review, InvestView continues SEC fraud with Endotech, which is what she was just talking about. Likely emboldened by the SEC's lack of action for years, InvestView has rebooted Cuvero Global as iGenius. So it's just a whole rebranding and it's so sketchy. At the time of publication, Cuvera Global's former website domain now redirects you to iGenius. iGenius is headed up by Chad Gardner. The ultimate Chad, Chad Gardner, has been with InvestView since the Wealth Generator days. So I'm assuming it went from Wealth Generators to the next name, which was Cuvera, and then now iGenius. Like that is such a red flag. The re constant rebranding because of legal issues, that's disgusting. In 2018, the CFTC confirmed wealth generators, quote, illegally offered Forex and binary options to retail investors in the United States, end quote. The regulator filed suit against wealth generators to, quote, protect consumers from fraud and other abusive practices, end quote. InvestView settled the CFTC's charges for $150,000. By the time the CFTC settlement was made public, InvestView had renamed wealth generators to Cuvera Global. They were trying to get ahead of the game. The name change saw InvestView pivot from Forex fraud to crypto-related security fraud. Disgusting. Chad Gardner was the president of Cuvera Global. Between 2018 and late 2020, Cuvera Global launched numerous crypto-related MLM opportunities. None of these opportunities were disclosed to the SEC, at least not to the degree the fraudulent schemes actually function. Following on and off suspensions of ROI payments beginning October 2018, Cuvera Global finally palmed off investor losses to Westman and Travis Bott in February 2020. Again, InvestView failed to disclose any of this to the SEC. Other than killing off Cuvera Global, the only other notable business activity of InvestView in 2020 was launching NDAU, which as we saw, NDAU was one of the like things that you have access to when you become a trader or a partner, whatever, a salesperson in this MLM. NDAU seems to be some non-MLM shitcoin investment opportunity. If you don't know what shitcoin means, it basically just means a crypto coin, a cryptocurrency that is of no or little value that shouldn't be taken seriously. Basically a scam. InvestView's NDUA investment options prior to the iGenius integration flopped. NDAU is publicly tradable and following its launch in August 2020, it followed the typical shitcoin pump and dump trajectory. Cuvera Global seems to have been officially killed off towards the end of 2020, bringing us to iGenius. InvestView officially unveiled iGenius by a press release on January 14th, 2021. InvestView today unveiled its new brand, iGenius. The iGenius brand represents our stake in the fintech arena. 
and better positions us to distribute new and innovative products, such as NDAU, around the world. The decision to rebrand to iGenius was made to better align the company's advanced technology infrastructure. Superior product offerings increased customer retention and new partnerships with experienced global distributors. iGenius will launch the NDAU product packages to its customers on Tuesday, January 19th at 1 p.m. Eastern along with their website. And then this article goes on further to give a review of iGenius. And I'm just going to read that off to you real quickly if my dyslexic ass allows me to. iGenius has no retailable products or services with affiliates only able to market iGenius affiliate membership itself. iGenius affiliate membership provides access to various financial and crypto related educational material. A discount travel booking engine is also included. Like what? iGenius affiliates sign up and have two investment opportunities made available to them, NDAU or Crypto Elite. The MLM side of iGenius is tied to affiliate recruitment, NDAU investment opportunity. As discussed in the introduction of this review, NDAU is a shitcoin. InvestView launched mid last year. NDAU was dumped onto iGenius affiliates at a minimum of at a minimum 1,000 spend through two packages. A three month package prices NDAU at 10% of the current public trading value. NDAU investment through the three-month package is locked in for three months, paying out a 5% annual compounded rate. After three months, this rate drops to 4%. The three-year protected package locks up the invested NDAU for three years. The return paid on the three-year protected package investment is a 15% annual compounded rate. For each 1000 invested into NDAU packages, iGenius pays the following commissions. You get $60 for every 1000 invested into the three-month package and $75 for every 1000 invested into the three-year protected package. Now let's get into the ranks and what those look like. And honestly, I I really like this website. I think it's very credible. And the person who does it, they're amazing. It's called BehindMLM.com. Like I said, I will have the specific article linked down below. But let's get into this. iGenius affiliate ranks. There are 14 affiliate ranks within iGenius's compensation plan, along with their respective qualification criteria. They are as follows. Affiliates sign up as an affiliate and can continue to pay monthly membership fees. So you're losing money. Influencer. Oh my God. Influencer. Recruit two affiliates. Place placed, place one on both sides of your binary team. I don't know what that means. Executive. Maintain two personally recruited affiliates and generate 1,000 group volume a month. I'm hoping that the monthly subscription fee is included in that because otherwise that's so much money. I mean, even so, it wouldn't. That's wait, what? Yeah, even so, that still wouldn't cover it because if it's $175 a month and there's only three of you on your own team and your organization, or yeah, no, I guess it would. Oh, no, it wouldn't. So then that's only $525 a month that you're bringing in, which realistically you're losing money. So (laughs) yikes. Platinum executive maintain two people with 2,000 GV. Global executive maintain four people, generate 5,000. Diamond executive, maintain four people, generate 10,000 a month. Ambassador, four people, 25,000 a month. Platinum ambassador, four people, 50,000 a month. Good God. Diamond ambassador, 100,000 a month and still four people. Presidential ambassador, four people, 250,000 a month. Crown, maintain four people. And And all of this says maintain, as you can see. But crown, maintain four people. And at this level, Two of your four people have to be at the rank below you. So they have to be at the presidential ambassador or higher. And you have to do 500,000 group volume. Legends, four people personally, still a million GV. Oh my God. And now three people have to be at presidential level. Star, And it just keeps going and going and going, right? So this is just bullshit. Let's talk about recruitable commissions. iGenius affiliates receive a commission when they recruit a new affiliate, which is mainly how you make money in any MLM, but specifically the financial and trading MLMs. Now, recruitment commissions are paid out and determined by how much a newly recruited person spends on their signup fee, whatever, whatever package they get. So recruit a choice tier affiliate 
and you only receive $25. Oh my God. Recruit a select tier person and you receive $50. Recruit a premium tier person, $100. Recruitment commissions are also paid on affiliate membership tier upgrades. Okay, so when someone upgrades, you make more money too. So like I said, I'm going to have all of this linked down below. I will find a lot of their internal documents as well. And I'll have those linked down below. Even if I have to put all of this on like, and you know, screenshot it and stuff with those documents and put it on my own website on my blog. I've done that before for like Monate stuff and other documents that I wanted to be able to share with y'all. So that's the selfish Suarezes.com and it's on the blog site. So I'm going to have that there if needed, if I can't, you know, get the exact links to things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But as you can tell, it's a scam. It's a scam. Please do not fall for this. Any little W fab ladies, if you are in Monate, please do not join this scam. You deserve so much better. And like I said, I think it just really shows to a T how these people treat each other, how they don't care about anyone else but their own pockets and how they're willing to do anything for money. They, These girls have been, sh especially Jasmine, and I'm doing a deep dive on her, you bet your butt. The fact that she has been showing such a luxury lifestyle, yet she she fell seven ranks from executive director to whatever the hell she was like seven ranks below that. That's crazy. <laughs> she fell all almost all the way down the compensation plan. That's insane. Good God. This shit is whack. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed. Um, keep in mind these financial MLMs are whack to put it nicely. The reps in these companies, not all of them, but a lot of the reps in these companies will have your in like they will mass report your Instagram account, your YouTube videos. It's crazy. They will harass you to no end. So there's a creator, Amal Williams. She's amazing. She's a Canadian creator. She is a beautiful uh, mother, wife, a woman of color. She's absolutely gorgeous and very funny. And she made a couple videos about <laughs> these these people in these companies in like more like financial MLMs. This company specifically, iGenius. And that was months ago. And she's kind of taking a break from YouTube. She's coming back, though. I just talked to her. She's coming back. And they are still harassing her on Instagram and her DMs. It is absolutely, it, it's it's strange behavior. It is strange, strange behavior. So I'm actually, right before I put this video up, I'm going to make a second Instagram account. I'm, like, I'm going to have to have a backup. And it's unfortunate that I have to do that. But that is honestly one of the many reasons why I had been not really covering these types of financial MLMs too much because I've seen what they've done to Marco. <laughs> Marco gets his Instagram page taken down at least once a month and he has a backup and now his main account shadow banned, which really sucks. But hopefully that won't happen to me because I don't really go after them on my Instagram. I just promote my videos. I will definitely go after them here because YouTube has different guidelines. Thank God. <laughs> Thank, thank the Lord YouTube protects its creators better than Instagram does. So I will have all of Amal's, not all of her videos, but her channel linked down below. I'm going to add her to, if you've ever looked at my description box, not only are there affiliate links and codes and stuff like that in there, but there are, there's just a list of some of my favorite creators and my fellow commentary creators as well. Um, so I'm going to add her to that. I'm going to have a few of her videos linked down below too. And you, you guys know Marco, he is hilarious. He he puts out a lot of content exposing these types of MLMs as well. So please go watch their videos. Amal is realistically one of the only people that I have seen talk about this MLM and she has been harassed for it a lot. I just posted her page on my community page earlier today as I was filming this and asked y'all to go subscribe to her. I really want, because she is coming back to YouTube, I really want to show her support and to really help her because she really brought not only this situation to my attention, like 50 of y'all did. Y'all were flooding. Y'all were flooding my DMs. I was just trying to eat some peanut butter pie with my family. How white is that? Peanut butter pie? What in the caucasity is happening? 
<sighs> Anyways, I hope you'll have a great rest of your day. I will have my backup account <laughs> linked down below too now. Sounds so strange for me to say that. I've been thinking about it for a little bit and I'm like, dang, I should probably get one. So hope you'll have a great rest of your day. Please know how important you are, how valuable you are, how amazing you are. We got some big things coming up, not only in December, but at the beginning of next year as well and throughout next year. So I hope you'll have a great rest of your day, weekend, night, whenever you're watching this. You better stay spicy. That blue glowing light behind me, it does not say stay sploy, it says stay spicy. If you want to smell spicy and powerful and beautiful and expensive, use the code <laughs> and the link in my description box and in the pinned comment to get 30% off of Scentbird fragrance subscriptions. And also again, thank you Scentbird for sponsoring this video and continuing to sponsor my channel. And thank you guys for supporting my sponsors. Without you, I would not be able to do this full time. I wouldn't be able to do this period without you. And when you support my sponsorships, it really just makes it so I'm able to put out even more amazing, crazy content for you. So stay spicy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.